At this past week's planning board meeting, in addition to a public hearing regarding Whisper Ridge and 143 Spring Street, they also continued the public hearing about 147 Lumber Street. The site developers presented changes to the proposed plan that were made since last meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. My name is Greg Carey, Director of Real Estate Permitting with Clean Energy Collective. Next to me is Ben Tricko, property owner at 147 Lumber Street. Also with me tonight is Doug Carton, project manager with Clean Energy Collective, Rich Kleiman from Kleiman Energy, and Stacy Minahan and John Bensley from Fields and Thomas. Um, since our last hearing, we uh, we uh, obviously got together and listened to some of the suggestions and comments that were made by the planning board members. We went back to the drawing board and looked at how we can improve our site plan and our project. We've made a number of changes which we think um, you'll, you'll like. We think results in a better project. And with your permission, I'd like Stacy and John to go through some of those changes yes. and give you some. Yeah. Stacey Minahan with Beals and Thomas. Um, so I'll uh, run through the changes and of course if you have any questions. Um, so as Greg mentioned, uh, CEC took a, a very detailed evaluation of, of the layout of the solar panels um, and the proposed project. And there were really three areas um, that were revised, three categories. Um, and I think at least one of them was discussed before, two of them really, but screening, um, stormwater management, and then wildlife habitat. So with regard to the solar panel layout and the screening um, along the entire easterly portion of the array. You see the northern portion of the easterly array here, but <coughs> that entirely easterly, entire easterly extent. Um, CEC was able to pull all of the panels outside of the 100 foot buffer zone, so further from the uh, abutting properties. And the proposed screening was also extended to the northern limit of work, so there is now a full um, proposed screening of the Green Giant Arbor BD. I believe the board had also asked for some consideration as to it including different species and so eastern red cedar um, can also be mixed in and that's been added to the plans as well. So some significant screening proposed and then pulling the panels back along that easterly array. I think at the <coughs> last hearing or hearing before a stormwater bond was discussed so CEC has identified a $10,000 10-year $10 stormwater bond um, with regards to the stormwater management system. There were no other issues outstanding with regard to stormwater management. And then we also made several revisions, largely in response to feedback from the Conservation Commission to address wildlife habitat concerns. One of them was moving those panels outside of the buffer zone along this easterly array, incorporating the screening plantings, which also provide habitat. Um, creating within the 100 foot buffer zone that would be disturbed a pollinator meadow habitat with a conservation wildlife seed mix um, and also clusters of high, val high habitat value shrub plantings interspersed throughout areas within the buffer zone that are not constrained by stormwater management areas. Um, we incorporated a double gate between the westerly array and the easterly array to allow a gap essentially if I'm speaking <coughs> larger Wildlife can pass through there. As we discussed before, the fence will be lifted off the ground for a smaller wildlife passage. <coughs> and I believe that's it, actually. We continue to meet all of the Conservation Commission um, required setbacks with regard to the wetlands. Overall, the work in the buffer zone was reduced um, by just under 13,000 square feet over the original plan that was filed. So we were able to reduce impacts. You may want to um, also uh, point out the uh, alternative um, screen uh, that, that we're proposing, red maple. Yeah. The, the, the red oh, the eastern, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes. 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 Sorry, so, yes, so along that easterly um, array, the edge that was originally um, green giant arbor mm -hmm. every three to four we're proposing to intersperse with eastern red cedar as well to add some additional wildlife habitat value and just a little bit more diversity. 